Hey there, Adam Mori here with Bole Manufacturing. I'm here to introduce an exciting new product of ours, the Skyline Split Board. Overall, what this board is, it's a directional free ride board. I would say it's a very stiff board. It's meant for aggressive riders who like to go fast in difficult terrain. Kind of its natural habitat would be above the tree line and either chutes or, or wide open big mountain lines. Something unique about it that you'll notice is that it's got sidewall. It's been many years since we've made a sidewall board and on this particular one, we have a polyurethane sidewall. So with the Volley Skyline, this is truly a blank sheet design for us. We started from the ground up. The shape is entirely unique for us. The construction methods are unique and we've added some really unique features as well. With the Skyline, it's quite a wide board. This particular board, the 158 centimeter, is 269 millimeters at the waist. So a very large platform and that provides stability on the descent. And also for people who may want to ride a shorter board but have bigger boots, you're not going to get heel or toe drag on this. So it kind of opens up some options you have as far as the overall length of the board. The profile on this board is, it's pretty standard. It's got traditional camber, which starts about the front foot position and runs to the rear contact. So traditional camber, but it's justified to the rear. You've got lots of nose rocker for ample float in soft snow. This will be a board that you'll be up planing in no time. The rear contact point terminates very quickly. It's more of like a traditional snowboard from years ago. And the reason we do that is for good, consistent edge hold. At high speeds in difficult, icy terrain, you really want a predictable rear contact. Another unique feature of the Skyline, as you can see when you look at the base, we've rounded off these radius on the inside edge. Not only does it look pretty cool, but serves the function of making your touring a little bit easier. You don't have these sharp points that are gonna hang up on your hardware or your clothing and chew up the legs of your pants quite as much. Probably the most exciting thing about this product though is that for the first time in probably over 20 years, we're offering a new hook system that has dynamic features that pull your board half together so you're locked in. Again, really important on a board of this particular design. You don't want any looseness or, or chattering between your board halves. But what's really unique about ours is when you look at these hooks, our old hooks joined parallel to this inside edge. So no matter how tight they were, you can still split those board halves from tip to tail, kind of a shearing action. With these particular hooks, there's about an eight to nine degree offset. So these hooks are about eight to nine degrees out of parallel with the inside edge. So not only is your board locked in from heel to toe, but also locked in from tip to tail. With other systems that don't have that ability, if you rotate your bindings in the same rotation, you can actually split your board halves, shifting them slightly, which will change where your turning radius is on your board. So what you'll see on these hooks is we have a little camming lever here. And what that does, when you move it all the way inboard like this, that loosens the hooks. Again, this is a cam here, so as you move it, it expands, pulling these two hooks together and locking that board in. And just like our old hooks, we've maintained all the positive attributes of the Volet hook. I mean, it is time tested. There is no more durable hook system out there. We've kept those things, but we've improved on it. So you'll still be able to rotate your hooks if you are a person that tours inside edge to inside edge, or you just don't want something sticking outboard in the skin track. And along those lines, we've actually improve the rotating function of the hook by adding these little indexing lobes. So when you rotate, it's actually gonna lock into place and you won't have to worry about those hooks bouncing around as you're in skin track. What you can't see on these hooks is on these posts where you have a rotating feature, we've added a bushing. When you're rotating these parts, the hooks and the bolts are not going to spin so you're not gonna loosen these things over time. The size offerings for this board, we've really got a wide spectrum here. It's for aggressive riders of all sizes. For the women's range, we do 146, 150, and 154 centimeters. And the men's starts at 154 centimeters, going to 158, 162, 166, and all the way up to 172 for those, well, beefcakes. As excited as we are about the urethane sidewall, and I'm sure you are, as well, 
we're definitely not moving away from CAP. It produces an extremely light product that we feel is affordable for the end user and is really streamlined in the production process. It's really hard to compete with the weight savings that you get and the performance that you get from a CAP board. But again, we're extremely pleased to offer this sidewall product as well, because for this particular shape, as again, a hard charging free ride board, you need that damping that you get from sidewall that you just can't duplicate with cap. So overall, this is a directional free ride board. It's meant for big lines, charging to variable terrain, going high speeds, and dicing through no fall zones. It's really meant for that, you know, kind of ego rider 